I think we all agree that peripheral IVL access can be really tough to secure in a baby. Inserting an IV catheter in a chubby, sick, or small babies can be particularly challenging. Infants are wiggly, their veins are very small, and they often have excess adipose tissue. All of these factors contribute to the difficulties of placing an IV line. Likewise, during the induction of anesthesia, anything can happen bradycardia, laryngospasm, etc. And in some cases, securing peripheral line can be extremely difficult and stressful for everyone involved. If this happens in the operating room, it can be a really bad start of the day. In this video, we are going to share the four important tips that will substantially increase your chance of securing an IV in a baby. Tip number one, select the optimal gauge catheter. The best IV catheter size is a short 24 gauge catheter. While I have witnessed others trying large gauge such as 22 gauge or 20 gauge in little babies, they often fail and the larger gauge is typically not needed. As an example, a 24 gauge IV in a baby of 4 or 5 kilograms has a free flow rate and the bolus capabilities which is equivalent to 18 gauge 2 IVs running wide open in, in an adult. Tip number two. Pick the best site for IV. There are a few options where to place a pediatric IV, but the best options are feet because many infants have a big juicy long saphenous vein contributory or the saphenous vein itself running up the middle of the anterior foot or on the medial side of the foot. Also, securing the veins in the foot is a lot easier than the hand, which is a lot more movable. Hand, most infants have at least one vein running up to the middle of their hand. You can use transillumination to identify the veins. In this video, we will feature an IV placement in the hand. Tip number three, immobilize the baby. Holding the child still is the most important part of starting a line in an infant. They are going to move, and if they do move, IV access is next to impossible. Tip number four, use the free hand to stabilize the vein, pull the skin, and immobilize the hand while starting an IV line with the other. Let's see how an expert inserts an IV line in the hand of an infant. We gently tap on the baby's back of the hand to vasodilate the veins. And then application of the tourniquet is very important. It should be a soft tourniquet, but you must assure that the radial artery is not occluded. If the radial artery is occluded, that means the tourniquet pressure is too much and it needs to be released, otherwise you do not get good venous flow. Now, everyone advises to use sterile gloves or gloves when doing this. However, I can tell you this is extremely difficult when using gloves. You really want to have the absolute utmost touch in your hands when dealing with small veins. So here we're going to do one more skin preparation. As you can see, a very small 24 or 25 gauge IV is inserted at a very low angle. But pay attention to how the hand is stabilized. You have to stabilize the hand, fix the skin, and fix the vein without obstructing the flow in the vein so you can keep the lumen. This is really the key to this procedure. You have to be able to fix, stabilize the vein so you can enter it with a catheter and yet not obstructing or collapsing the vein. That is the key. Very low angle of needle insertion. You really have to go very slowly until you feel a certain give or a pop, which is the time or point in time when the cannula with the needle enters the vein and then slowly withdraw the needle leaving the catheter or the cannula inside. And voila, that was a very skillful placement of an IV line in a small baby. And if you like our videos, make sure you subscribe to Nesora's YouTube channel and never miss the beat. Until next time.